back. We are just going to do this inside the Unity Editor today. I'm not going to do a build. So, let's go ahead and hit play. There's going to be some music. It may be a little loud at first here, but we'll get past it pretty quick. I'm just playing around with the music, throwing it in here. Okay. So it's actually meant to, you know, be in a smaller screen. Most people are not going to play in you know, my resolution here. So go ahead and make that bigger for me. And you can register, create your own account. I already have one, of course, so we log in. Now, even though it's in the editor, this is still what it would look like during a build. All right, so we can create characters, male, female. Um, just start with the warrior. Now, I have to adjust the bounds because you can see you can go to ridiculous lengths with these. Uh, but the important thing is they actually work. And we do have, you know, bald and couple of different hairstyles. Change the eye color and the guy has no hair. There we go. Now he's got a little bit of hair. And you can change the skin color. You can play with the cheek positions. You know, we have a lot of changes. So I'm going to hit cancel and we'll just start out with her. And when you hit enter, you will start out on the boat in South Kinos for right now. South Kinos is about 95% complete. Um, so you'll start out right here. And in order to connect the zones, I just created these teleport areas to put them together. But music gets louder as you get near the tavern. There's no guards or NPCs here yet. Just the eight rodents. There is more to the city, and many of you have already seen it. So this is about this is all I'm going to do with it. So we're going to go over here and go straight over to EK, which is where I spent a lot of my time lately. So you just click on it, and I started out as if you were zoning in from the gorge. So if you look behind you, the gorge, I am currently under construction, but this would take you back to the gorge. So now that those of you that are familiar with the game, now like I said, this is designed for a smaller resolution because you can see as I shrink it, the mini map in the upper right, something like about that is what I was thinking. So you can you got you have the little hunting village over here, which many of you, you know, anyone who's played EverQuest is familiar with, at least the original. So we got the rain and the fog. We do have weather patterns. We have day-night cycle. So here we go. We have some updated, updated graphics, you know. And if you click this, it'll take you back to the boat in South Kinos. Now, I also added a compass up here. Okay. I really wanted to uh, get like a speed potion. I have actually a, a horse whistle that I could spawn on the character. Yeah, but the problem with that is um, I think she'll stand on top of it because I don't think I actually have a riding animation yet because some of the animations are limited. Right now this is just so you can actually get into the world and play at the moment. Okay. I promise we'll see some stuff. <laughs> but I didn't thoroughly populate the world. I'm still looking for uh, some creatures and some assets. So okay, so we come over here and everyone knows that this is the ramp to high pass hold and here's the first marker stone now I used the original uh, the original everything to make this uh, I, I fixed the texture a little bit and stuff 
and then I just grab the original two high pass hold texture and put it on here so even though everything else looks somewhat decent and that looks you know plain it's because that is the actual original okay I'm not gonna run up the entire pass but there's a tree I put over here I'd have to load up the original EQ but I swear I remember just sitting here by a tree waiting for Brune to come walking up here and spent many a day not letting him get too far before killing him and yes we do have a Brune in this world problem is he's wandering around somewhere that reminds me I don't want to be attacked so turn on my GM status here um, they will follow me but they won't attack me I still need to do some balancing as you can see my my players level one with you know, over 2,000 hit points and the reason I call her water baby is because I actually added this bottom bar here and that's your breath oh, and there is the Cyclops he is wandering around he will he will wander around all the way down to the water's edge to where you usually find him And apparently, ah, apparently there's a server glitch there where he's warping. Uh, gotta love playing in the editor. There he is. I may make him slightly smaller. Because I think he was the smallest of them. Yep, he's rubber banding and warping. Gotta love servers. we have a Griffon. Now I'm missing the animations on his attack animations are with him standing still so that's why his wings aren't moving anymore and of course he's not going to attack because I'm in my GM status but he just aggros on me but he doesn't actually attack so he's supposed to be running on the ground after me so like I said it's not perfect yet I don't have the animations for for all this but once he resets he's done uh, done attacking he goes back to where he came from then he starts just back to flying around like that so that stuff's fine yeah the, the brune issue the warping usually happens only when I set him on a patrol path if I let him just wander randomly and I let the characters do what they want I don't have that problem alright where am I apparently now I'm lost oh yeah Okay, so we have the hunting uh, little cabin area up there. So as if we, uh, if you followed this wall right here, you'd be back at the gorge pathway. So up here we have some works. And you can see they, as you get close enough, you can track them up here. And eventually, you know, when you get far enough away, they'll it'll disappear off the compass up there. So we have some more grunts and a warrior. You can see they actually look different. Okay. It is forever raining in EK. Not really, it will actually. There are times where it will clear up and, and whatnot. So over here we have the Druid Stones. Now I used the original texture, created a normal off of those textures and used that to help make it look a slightly better, but it, it is using the original texture. I used um, Pro Builder to make the blocks. But the actual texture is the original. Druid stones. This cube floating here is a test zone. Uh, if I step into it, you'll see it says combat event. Uh, I've already I need to fix that to say, but you'll see that your breath bar is actually going down. This is what I was. This is the area I was using to test it in before I made this giant one for the river. 
so it goes down one point every one second and if you step out it'll go up five points every one second back up to 100 Silver Mist Wolf. And that is a big carrion spider. There's another wolf over there. Uh, they will randomly spawn. If I kill the spider, it'll spawn a wolf or a spider. It'll just pick one randomly. So these look a little generic because, of course, I don't have an artist working for me and I have to use what I can get. The only real issue with the fog is the shader used on these trees. As you can see, the leaves stand out. But again, these are just minor issues. And as you can see, we even have a giant chain link bridge thing. Uh, instead of poles in the ground, I use those big hooks or shackles and of course that's currently under construction in there too so you can only go about a quarter of the way across here and then it'll stop which is where the zone would actually be it's right here and this is where you would actually zone see but now I can't go any further so sorry it's taking so long to run everywhere but this is just like the original game. Took forever to get places. Just hoping everyone's enjoying the actual view. Uh, I have an eye on some gnolls, but they're a little cartoonish, but they're the only ones I can find, so I may have to use those so I can populate the, the, the reaver uh, pillar. And here's another original stone, two kinos. hold. Now I will be adding some more creatures of course. I want this zone to be a little more populated. There is combat you can fight. Um, you only have an axe and this re this one requires a sword and bow, bow, that's a sword and a staff so I'll be removing some of that stuff. So here we have that little village. I remember this village, but I don't think there was ever anything in it. And like I said, you got the Knoll Reavers over that direction, which I don't have yet. And then you have the Barbarian Fishing Camp back over here. I do not have Barbarians in the game at the moment, although I do have some. I just need to actually put them in. I do believe I have some different spiders over here for the carrion spiders. Yeah, those were chasm crawlers or these chasm crawlers and those were some some other kind. I cannot remember at the moment. All the trees should actually blow in the breeze in some way or have some movement. Some of the trees I'd like to replace like these. You can tell these are still billboards whereas these actually look really nice. Right, I don't see the other spiders over here. I guess they decided to disappear so I'll tell you what. Let's go up here. And we will do this. show up. It's got a crag spider, that's what those things were. So the respawn time we are going to set for 300, max of 340, give them a roam radius of 50, and spawn one, and there he is. And he's already in attack position. Once I get far enough away, he'll go back to being a regular, into the regular mode. Right now he's in attack mode. That's, there he goes. See, he dropped back down. Now he's walking normal. 
Okay. So then we have these abandoned barn looking things. See that? There's one over there, and there's the other one. We're coming up on the barbarian camp, and then I will let you guys go. And I hope you enjoyed the world as you see it. This is going to be a long, boring video, listening to me talk and run around this world. But, you know, imagine some more mobs here, maybe a couple of friends. And once I get the uh, combat settled, it might be a little fun to run around here, don't you think? I didn't have any actual huts, so I used these things in little abandoned looking shacks. Now, the fog is blocking the other wall on the other side here, so it kind of looks weird like it's filling in as you go because of the shader here, so it doesn't actually fog the water. <laughs> but again, those are just minor issues. Those are things that can be fixed. But I think the water turned out really nice. And right now, it doesn't affect you. You can go underneath and walk around. It's not going to hurt you yet. Oh, I'll fix that too. Um, but I will be working on that. So hopefully everyone has enjoyed it. I think it's coming along quite nicely. So I will see everyone hopefully in about a week I should have some more stuff to show you.